Greetings, I am Captain Dennison of Starfleet's Military Operations Command. I present the Larson Class Destroyer, one of the longest serving starship classes of the 23rd century. These ships were named after heroes, both military and civilian, in our world's histories. This ship, the USS Decay, is named after an actor who turned into a rights activist at the turn of the 21st century. The origin of this design is from a specialized Mars-based design bureau associated with the Utopia Planitia shipyards, codenamed FASA, who was responsible for a number of little-known designs even though the bureau was dissolved. This ship entered service at about the same time as the Constitution class, participated in the Four Years' War, and has gone through many upgrades since that time from Mark 1 to Mark 7, and now the final upgrade shown here, the Mark 8. These vessels were traditionally used as escorts, patrol ships, anti-piracy ships, and for short-range exploration. It was designed as an inexpensive combat ship to be rapidly deployed to hotspots where it was needed. The Mark 8 has many features that expand its mission role. The most prominent upgrade is the addition of deep space sensors and a navigational deflector dish. This allows the ship to conduct long-range surveys and travel more efficiently into areas with dense astronomical debris or hazardous phenomena. There are also more decks allowing for a larger engineering section and more efficient power output, plus more room for cargo and supplies for long-term missions. A more spacious shuttle bay was added so that emergency shuttle operations or cargo loading could be conducted with greater efficiency, which led to the redesign of the main impulse thrusters. Having two impulse crystals and thruster assemblies allowed for better acceleration. The two impulse crystals tapped from plasma conduits running to the nacelles from engineering and were positioned below the pylons making these vulnerable systems harder to target. The ship has a total of seven phaser banks, six on the saucer section covering several firing arcs, and an additional phaser bank aft. These phasers were not as powerful as those mounted on larger cruisers, but they were more than sufficient for this ship's mission role. Its most effective armament is the Photon Torpedoes. The Mark 8 mounts the more powerful FP-6 torpedo launcher. This ship's warp engine configuration was of the single nacelle doctrine, a more cost-effective utilization of most ship designs. While this does present certain drawbacks for relatively light ships such as this one, performance is warp is not an issue. These ships are capable of reaching a maximum speed of warp 10 in the 23rd century scale. As this is only a destroyer, structurally, this was not a strong ship. It had to rely on maneuverability and especially shields for protection. This ship has a low power output FSF shield system a very energy-efficient shield for a ship of this class. Thank you for 